Millions of people are struggling to pay their rent and mortgage bills. And if you find yourself in a similar situation, know that you are not alone. The soaring house prices and the relentless demand for rentals have created a challenging situation for millions of Americans. Today, we delve into the shocking statistics surrounding this eviction nightmare. But before we proceed, I kindly ask you to show your support by hitting the like and subscribe button. Let's get started. The United States is currently in the midst of an eviction crisis of an unprecedented scale. With millions of individuals struggling to meet their rent and mortgage payments, the situation is dire. House prices have reached staggering heights, making it increasingly difficult for renters to keep up with their monthly expenses. Many people, unable to afford the rising rents, have been forced out of the housing market. While there are various factors contributing to this situation, the most glaring one is the record level demand for rental properties. Let's take a closer look at the latest data. According to the Q1 2023 Home Ownership and Residential Vacancies Report by the U.S. Census Bureau, only 6.4% of rental housing was vacant during that period. Similarly, the vacancy rate for home ownership housing stood at a mere 0.8%. Although these rates are higher compared to Q1 2022 and Q4 2022, they still indicate a tight market for consumers. The scarcity of available housing options further exacerbates the challenges faced by those seeking affordable rentals. As if the difficulty in finding suitable housing isn't enough, Americans also have to grapple with punitive rental costs. Despite a significant decrease from the record high figures reported between May and December 2022, the median national rent remains exorbitantly high. An analysis by Rent.com reveals that Americans today pay an average of nearly $400 more in rent, about $1,971 a month, compared to just four years ago. This shocking increase in rental prices coincides with a lack of significant changes in Americans' paychecks, placing a heavy burden on individuals who struggle to meet their financial obligations and fulfill their rental contracts. What makes the situation even more distressing is the absence of government protection for those facing eviction. As of now, no comprehensive policies have been put in place to address the looming crisis. The lack of proactive measures leaves Americans vulnerable and raises concerns about the potential for a national disaster. Experts and knowledgeable observers caution that urgent action is needed from Capitol Hill to avert further hardships. Let's shift our focus to the income aspect of the eviction crisis. Recent data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, as quoted by the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, reveals some concerning trends. In Q1 2023, the average American earned $363 per week in CPI-adjusted dollars, amounting to a monthly income of $1,452. When we compare this to the pre-pandemic levels in Q2 2020, where the average weekly income was $393, it becomes evident that the average income for the regular American has declined significantly. But what's even more alarming is the rate at which incomes have declined compared to the decrease in median rent. Between the highest peak in Q3 2022 and Q1 2023, rent prices experienced a decrease of 4.19%. However, average weekly earnings have fallen by a staggering 7.63% between the record high recorded in Q1 2020 and Q1 2023. This discrepancy puts renters in an increasingly precarious financial situation as the burden of housing costs continues to outpace their income. Let's delve deeper into the financial strain experienced by renters in the United States. A recent analysis conducted by the U.S. Census Bureau paints a concerning picture. The report reveals that the average expense proportion for renter-occupied homes increased from 29.3% in 2019 to 30.6% in 2021. This shift resulted in a significant rise in the share of financially strained households, climbing from 46.3% to 49% of all renter-occupied units. Astonishingly, nearly half of the renter-occupied households in the U.S. faced financial burdens in 2021. Over 20.1 million renter-occupied households exceeded the 30% income threshold, qualifying them as financially strained. 
This represents an increase of approximately 1 million house compared to 2019. Furthermore, the proportion of severely burdened households, those spending an excessive share of their income on rent, rose from 23% in 2019 to 25.4% in 2021. The impact of this strain is particularly severe on households with the lowest incomes. The Census Bureau report highlights that Americans in the lowest income quintile face a median cost ratio of 62.7%. In simpler terms, 50% of lower income households spend over 62% of their overall income on rent, marking a 3% point increase from 2019. The Department of Housing and Urban Development, also known as HUD, has established criteria for identifying cost-burdened households based on rental expenses. According to HUD, any household spending more than 30% of its monthly income on rent falls into the distress category, while those exceeding 50% are considered severely cost-burdened. Unfortunately, it is evident that a significant number of low-income renter households are well beyond severely cost-burdened, placing millions of hard-working Americans on the verge of an eviction disaster. Even slight fluctuations in rental costs can have a substantial impact on their expense proportions. The severity of the cost burden faced by renter households has led to many being unable to meet their contractual obligations. According to a recent study by LendingTree, over 8 million Americans were behind on their rental bills as of March 2023. This means that 13.17% of adult Americans reside in renting households that are in arrears. When examining the data at the state level, New York, Nevada, and Louisiana emerge as the states with the highest number of adults struggling to pay rent. In New York, approximately 5.2 million adults, 20.52% of the state's adult population, live in renter-occupied households that are behind on rent payments. The corresponding figures are 19.68% in Nevada and 18.97% in Louisiana. The lending tree analysis reveals a sharp increase in the number of Americans falling behind on rent payments in recent years, primarily driven by various factors. The pandemic thrust many individuals into a financial crisis, aggravated by rising inflation and disappearing job opportunities. Additionally, many rental property owners have raised their rates in response to a booming economy. The lending tree analysis found that 53.03% of renters nationwide experienced an increase in their rental costs over the past year, while only 1.75% saw a decrease. Furthermore, among those who faced higher monthly rent payments, many reported increases ranging from $100 to $249. The struggle to pay bills has led to a widespread epidemic of evictions in the United States. While the pandemic exacerbated rental expenses, it is crucial to note that evictions were not uncommon even before the global upheaval. Prior to the pandemic, data from Eviction Lab indicated that landlords in the U.S. filed approximately 3.6 million eviction cases annually. As the pandemic took hold, stay-at-home mandates and business closures in 2020 threatened to escalate the eviction crisis further. In August 2020, a joint study conducted by nine organizations, including the National Low-Income Housing Coalition, estimated that up to 40 million Americans were at risk of eviction by the end of the year if the government did not intervene. In response, governments at all levels implemented eviction moratoriums to prevent a full-scale eviction disaster. Eviction Labs trackers showed a rapid decline in eviction filings in the areas they monitored. Thanks to these government efforts, eviction numbers remained significantly lower than pre-pandemic levels through 2020 and into 2021. However, as the eviction bans expired, filings began to rise once again. In the first half of 2022, eviction filings were 89% higher than the same period in 2021, and by March 2022, filings nearly reached pre-pandemic averages for that month. According to the latest data from Eviction Lab, there have been 2,268,471 evictions since March 2020. In the past week alone, ending on Friday, May 12, 2023, there were 8,640 evictions, indicating a return to pre-pandemic levels. It is important to note that Eviction Lab's data does not capture illegal evictions, suggesting that there may be more Americans suffering in this eviction crisis. The eviction nightmare in the United States has evolved into a significant public health concern. Recent research conducted by Abdullah Haitunde Aborode, 
affiliated with Mississippi State University, highlights the evictions are a prevalent and serious problem among renters in the country, particularly affecting women, people of color, and families with children. The negative impacts of evictions extend to health, including increased hospitalization rates, heightened levels of depression, anxiety, substance abuse, and even mortality. Evictions also disrupt the health and social connectedness of communities, as well as the economic stability and educational outcomes of the families affected. Eberode emphasizes the presence of racial and socioeconomic disparities in eviction rates, calling for policy interventions to prevent evictions and ensure affordable housing for low-income renters. Another study conducted in 2022, which examined the health and healthcare utilization changes following eviction from public housing, aligns with Aberode's findings. The research revealed that eviction is associated with a rise in various medical diagnoses, hospital admissions, and emergency department visits among those affected. Shockingly, the study found that 22% of evicted individuals became literally homeless. Moreover, eviction negatively impacts public health personnel, particularly nurses, who face mental distress when documenting the social context of their patients, ultimately impacting service delivery. The study recommends using social diagnoses ICD-10 codes to identify and address the social detriments of health, thus improving the care received by eviction victims. The urgency of the eviction crisis as a public health catastrophe is being emphasized by experts like Jacob Haas, a research specialist who warns that returning to pre-pandemic eviction rates is disappointing given the initiatives taken to prevent housing instability. Governments at all levels are being called upon to take action. Some cities, such as Cleveland and Philadelphia, have implemented programs to assist tenants in accessing financial relief, staying in their homes during eviction disputes, and mediating conflicts between renters and landlords. Additionally, good cause bills are being proposed in several state legislatures to restrict evictions to extreme cases and limit significant rent hikes. However, it's important to recognize that these efforts are not a cure-all for America's eviction nightmare. Rental affordability remains a major crisis, leaving many Americans constantly threatened by eviction. The problem is a clear and present danger. Compounding this situation are factors such as rising inflation, the federal government's indebtedness, and the increasing likelihood of the government defaulting on its financial obligations due to disagreements in Congress regarding the debt ceiling adjustment. It is our hope that by shedding light on this issue, we can encourage greater awareness and spur meaningful action to alleviate the hardships faced by millions of Americans. Stay informed and engaged, and let's work together towards finding sustainable solutions to the eviction crisis. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more important discussions on critical issues. Thank you for watching, and watch this one as well.